All right, I wanted to quickly show you how to edit in the mobile editor in Wix. Um, this is an update to some of my earlier Wix mobile editing videos. Um, a lot of things have changed, just subtle things that have changed over the last couple years. Um, so I wanted to show you guys some quick tips. So first off, to get started, um, just something I always do as a, de a Wix designer is I make sure I design everything I want the way I want it in the desktop version first. Always start with the desktop version. The reason being is that you can edit here. You can actually edit text. Um, you can change things. You can change colors. You can add pictures, all these things here. Uh, you can change where buttons link to, that kind of thing. You are not able to do those kind of text edits and things like that in the mobile editor. So it's always good to get your home page desktop version design first and then go into the mobile editor. To get to the mobile editor, click here on switch to mobile. This will bring you into your mobile editor view. Um, just a few things to note about the mobile editor. Again, you can't edit text, so I wouldn't be able to change what this text says. But I can double click on it and change the size of it. I can change the alignment and I can change the color. I can also choose to hide it if I want to hide something completely from the mobile view. You can do that here as well to simplify the mobile view. I can also reorganize things so I can move things up or down. I can, um, so I can use this little tool to kind of move things around. I can use the undos and redos to undo things if I don't like what I've done. You can also zoom out, um, which will give you kind of a, a zoomed out version of it where you can more easily move different sections around if you don't like the order that they're placed in. If things are overlapping, um, if there's something behind something, you can click on it and drag it and move it around. Some of the tools I use a lot are this little drag handle. It's a little downward arrow with a line underneath it. If I use this, it's going to move everything else in sync below it. Um, that's a great way to add spacing or move things so they're not, they're not overlapping. If I were to just move it like this, then everything else stays where it is. So I love this drag tool. I'm going to undo that. Um, but if you use this handle, this will allow you to move everything down in place with um, the item that you're moving. So you, nothing's getting overlapped or uh, bumped into when you're moving things around. So use that tool a lot. Um, another couple tools I use quite often uh, is this little toolbar. If you don't see this toolbar, come up here to tools and click on the toolbar to see it. Um, some of the things I use a lot are your, your uh, width and height coordinates. So if you want to make things all the same size, if for example you have several buttons and they're all different sizes, but you want to make them consistent, you can simply click on them and change the width or the height to be the same and go through and make everything consistent. You can also use these X and Y coordinates. A big reason I like to use these in the mobile view is it's hard to drag things around. So if I wanted to put something down at the bottom of the page, I have to drag it here, then use the scroll bar to kind of go down, drag it further, and keep going down and down and down. If I want to quickly move something from the bottom or from the top to the bottom or vice versa, you can use these little X and Y coordinates. The Y coordinate is where it is in the height of the page. Um, so I can put zero and that'll move it up to the top of the page, or I can put in like 2,000 to get it down towards the bottom. Um, so feel free to use that. Again, use this little undo if you want to undo anything that you've done. You can undo and redo in the Wix editor, which is quite handy. Another thing to note is you can't use your, your arrows on your um, on your keyboard to scroll in this window. If you want to scroll, you need to make sure to use, and let me pull this into screen a little bit better, use this scroll bar to navigate um, up and down on the mobile view. And you'll notice that the mobile view is kind of a little taller than the actual phone is going to be, so I always look at this preview. And this will show me kind of what it realistically would look like on most smartphones. So you'll see it's not quite as tall as the mobile um, editor is looking. Here too you can scroll by using this arrow or this uh, scroll bar here. So then I can click on back to the editor to get into the editing screen again. Um, a couple other things. There is this page layout optimizer. Sometimes when I've created a big page with lots of content I'll use this to optimize it. Uh, don't use this unless you have a new page and you just want it to guess at what you think it should look like. Um, if you've already spent time on your mobile, do not use this because it's going to reshuffle everything out of order. 
and the way it thinks it should be, which is probably different than maybe what you want it to be because you're human and you know what things look better. Computers can't quite do it as good as we can. So um, only use that if you're already start if you're starting from scratch. Sometimes that's easy to get everything un overlapping and get access so you can see everything. Another thing to look at is your hidden elements. Um, these are elements that I've hidden from my page. Uh, typically nothing usually will be hidden unless you've hidden it already. Um, but if you're looking for an element that's on your desktop but you can't find it um, in the mobile, you can look here to see if it's been hidden and then you can restore it by hitting the plus. Um, again, nothing should be hidden unless you've hidden something, but sometimes things might get hidden, so that's a place to look. Um, a couple other tools that you can use are the background. You can actually customize the background for the mobile view. Um, that won't affect your desktop, and any of these changes you do will not affect your desktop, so keep that in mind. Um, you can also edit the menu, and this is the menu that shows up. This menu will only show up if you are using a header and footer setting on your pages. Um, so uh, you, won't, you won't see this little hamburger, what they call a hamburger me menu, if you don't have those set. And just to show you quickly where that's set, if you go into desktop, you come over here to your site menu, and you click on this little three dots next to any of the pages that you're editing. Come here to settings, and then go to layouts. By default, usually the standard is to have the header and footer shown. If you don't have that, if you have this chosen, you will not see that mobile menu in the mobile editor. So you do have to have this. This is one thing I'm hoping that Wix will change down the road, but currently you can only have that mobile hamburger kind of expanding menu if you're using the standard layout. So make sure to use this. And what's good about this is it has a header and footer that appear on all your pages. Um, usually I only use this option if I'm creating a landing page that I don't want it to use the main menu uh, system I've already established. So let's get back to the mobile editor and look at that mobile menu. If I click on this, there's a few things I can do. I can edit the menu. If I click on this, this will actually let me come in here and modify this menu. So if I wanted to change, for example, the colors on this menu, I can click on this little design icon, and then I can change the color of the text, I can change the size of it, um, those sort of things. Also remember, there's also the selected, so that's the green that's showing here. Um, so you can specify the colors there. You can also specify things like the border, you can specify the background, and so forth. Um, this is actually a box, so I can change the background here as well. Um, and uh, so those are kind of those, those overall menu things in the, in the settings. So again, I can click here on design to edit the design. Um, so I'm gonna come in here. This is just another way to kind of get into um, different aspects of this menu. So, open and close how you want that to behave. Um, there are preset designs, um, so you can come through here and choose them, but then you can customize it here. So this is actually the little box that you see here, and you can edit um, what this is looking like. Uh, what else here? I think that's about the layouts. You can choose if it shows up full screen, if it's half the screen, if it's on the left or the right. Um, so choose those things here. I'm going to undo this because I want to keep it where I had it. Um, uh, but those are kind of your overall menu edits in the mobile view. So I'll click out of this again. Uh, I think that's all the main tricks I wanted to show you in mobile. So just always make sure to um, finish your editing here. Finish your editing on your desktop first. Make sure everything looks good on the desktop. And then do this last um, as your last step before launching your page. Um, because, again, you can't edit much in here. You can only move things around. So um, if you want to change the, the formatting of a paragraph or anything like that, you need to go back into the desktop. Another trick I use, which um, is available in the Chrome um, browser, is you can come in here and use, um, and you can't quite see this, but I've installed, if you're using Chrome, um, you can come up here to view, and then under that it's uh, developer tools. Click here. 
Um, what this does is it refreshes the page and shows it shows you what it's going to look like in mobile view. This is a really handy tool to use to view um, Wix sites. So let's look at my site. Go to picklewix.com. And this is going to show me what my site will look like on a mobile phone. Um, so this is a really, really nice tool. And again, it's a, it's a Chrome browser tool. It's called Developer Tools, and it's located under View, under your main Chrome menu, under Developer Tools. And this will allow me to view what it looks like on mobile, which is really a nice little feature. And then I can choose different phones to see what different things look like. Um, you know, and this isn't 100% accurate, but, and make sure to hit this little refresh button each time you change platforms because each time it's gonna look a little bit different. Um, this isn't a very good example because the iPad actually shows a desktop. So I guess it's not good for that, but I do like using it for the phones because it shows me kind of the, the mobile view, which you can't look at on a, on a computer um, otherwise because Wix automatically determines what thing to show you. To get out of this, just click on here and then refresh. And then that'll show you the desktop, the normal view. So that's just a little quick tool for viewing things. And um, I always advise you to look at it on an actual phone as well. Uh, but those are my overall tips for mobile editing. Make sure you hit publish when you're done. Of course, that's going to save a copy of your site and um, go, make it go live. Um, let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below. And happy Wixen!